Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back to some of you for playing as Elysia. I reloaded back to an autosave because I made a dumb, 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 dumb mistake uh, and basically ended the war by accident. So I just went back to the autosave. So we just won that siege now. So instead, I'm just going to actually just piece for this, take that, and get war reps because it's not worth it for me. I'm also going to end rivalry. Apparently, no, I'm not. It's not worth it for me to have another vassal and be losing diplo power every three, every three seconds. It's just not worth it. Um every month because i'm not gonna be able to utilize that for a little bit next up we're going to um i want to say that what i'm going to do i'm actually going to make a little save here in case i mess it up again what i want to do is i want to enforce religion on my vassal so i'm going to enforce religion which is going to push up their liberty desire i'm going to wait a full month okay because I, I kind of messed this up. And then we have, a, we have also have a new debate in the Senate. And I'm going to go for that one. We're going to... Oh, and just before we do that, actually, we are actually going to try and fix it as quick as possible. Oh, I don't want to lose my advisor. I will lose the Diplo power. There you go. Ah, oh, man. It's so annoying. I'll lose the mercantilism. I kind of need that. Okay, then... It's been a month... I'm going to immediately do this. So that goes to Ektoa, 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 and it gives them a lot of liberty desire. Or it gives them their liberty desire. Unfortunately, it doesn't. It goes straight to 70. Right. Why does that happen? That is very frustrating. Well, it sucks, but I'm going to have to placate local rulers twice so they get them back to my friendship. And just away we go, right? Oy vey. Also, Cocladi, I really need to enable Scuttage because it would make them give me an extra 50% of their money. The hell am I doing? I don't want them. I don't want them there. Uh, and now that's Coeta. Oh, damn. Just got to wait for a truce now. Uh, until 1530, so five years of truce for that, and then I can grab that. And hopefully very soon they'll like me again. Ooh, money! Yes, please! Oh my god, I'm still sitting on another colonist. What am I doing? I need to be colonizing something. Um, I mean, I only really want to take things that's going to give me access to more stuff, right? So... Let's go here, so I can start to experience and explore this area a bit more. Bullsies. Not as good development, but it's worth it, I think. Uh, and I think we also want to be annexing them very soon as well. Alright, that went better. That went much better. I didn't screw it up too bad. Let's also summon the Diet. Uh, we kind of need the Heretia to be chill. Heretia gained 10 loyalty. Let's do it. So, this gains 2 admin. And then we're going to seize land. Come on. I did it though. Oh, I need one more. And seize land. Ow, ow. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's easy. Oh my god, I'm rich. I'm so freaking rich. Look at that. Obviously, their loyalty to equilibrium will creep back up, so that's fine. Oh my goodness. I'm making so much money now. Yes. I'm finally going to start to be able to pay off my horrendous debts. Ow. Don't do that. That's not cool, bro. How could you be so uncool? Kusaba is now done, and the Burrus sees power in Memengen. Memijin. 
Dibbity dabbity. You can uh, purchase an ability as well. <gasps> Intercontinental trade goods produced. Prestige. Institution spread in truth faith provinces is pretty good. War score cost versus other religions is even better, but goods produced modifier I think is going to be even more valuable for us for right now. Because we've converted somebody. Oh my god, and we converted another nation and got unified cultures. Ooh, this would give me all powers, costs, could produce, and absolutism. I probably don't want to do that just yet. Probably not. Fine. Ah, oh, yes. Colonization continues. And the Europeans are not here yet, which is really good. This is really, really good. Ah, oh, I'm happy with this. Britannia is doing really nicely as well. Oh, I've just realized that there's a bunch of assholes everywhere. Stop that, please. Okay, this is really good. We're actually making a huge pile of cash. Colonial expansion. Oh, I love that event so much. Okay. Oh my god. Now we're going to be making even more. Colonial expansion again. You're joking. It just got it twice. Okay. I'm making eight ducats a month right now, my friends. Eight ducats a month. Got some serious trade control here. We no longer have to worry about that. All I have to do is own one of these provinces. Yes, all I have to do is annex this. And have merchant guilds like me a little bit more. Come on. That's it. Local irrigation networks base tax. European trade ventures. Since the rediscovery of our old homeland, adventurous individuals from all over Europe began making the perilous journey to the New World, nominally to explore and no doubt strike it rich along the way. Despite their interest, many European explorers avoid Elysian territory, wherever people they had long thought perished at sea. But sensing the unique opportunity, many Elysian ports are opening their doors, offering preferential treatment to European merchants. We could allow this open trade policy to continue. The state's process has traditionally held tight control. Place restrictions and allow them to establish a trading enclave elsewhere any institution present in any european atlantic coastal center of any institution present in any european atlantic coastal center of trade will automatically spread yes give me trade efficiency embargo efficiency and dip tech cost reduction but i will lose silk value that's okay and i get european x enclave give me oh my god that's so good Get minimum autonomy. We shall allow free goods. It'll allow institutions to spread into all of our provinces as long as they are present in European Atlantic Center of Trade. Lose 50 mercantilism. I've got 25. Unrestricted trade. I lose goods produced. I lose embargo efficiency. And cost to promote mercantilism goes up like crazy. How do I tell Alger to convert to Algerism? Everybody's converted to Algerism, they just don't know it yet. Hello, Cody, how are you, my friend? Institution spread and dip tech cost reduction. <sighs> trade efficiency and trade power abroad. That is pretty tight. Or I get Elysian isolationism, giving me unrest reduction, stability, inflation reduction, trade power abroad, but domestic trade power. Uh, no, I kind of want both. Right, I don't think I don't think we can do that. Okay, yeah, yeah, I don't think we can do this one because the problem is the fifty mercantilism is crushing, but also ten percent goods produced. No, thank you. That will cripple me, and I don't want isolationism. So instead, we're gonna have it will spread to Evos. It'll spread into the enclave, and I get trade efficiency and some mild bonuses. That's pretty good. The Marble Emperors. In the years since our flight from Europe and subsequent landing in the New World, the people of Elysia have never forgotten Ionis VIII and his brother Constantius, the First Legion Empire. A favorite story told is some one day so-called Marble Empires will return and deliver Pallia Constapolis back to Elysian hands. The peasants and merchants of Neoconstapolis are calling for a great statue to be able to form. 
Marble's expensive, just use stone. Yes, build the monument. I feel like that's a dumb idea, but I'm going to do it. It looks fun. Okay, so that should spread colonialism to me. Right? Oh, if I had 400, I get local trade power and sailor increase. Yes, colonialism. Let's straight up go for institution spread. Because I need that. It'll take five years. Okay. That is so cool. We just save as much money as we can now and start paying down debts. As fast as is feasible. Also, I should probably get a plus one advisor. Oh, let me into one of our. Yes. Okay. But it cost a fire. Good. And now we should wait. It's starting to look more like an empire ace fire. Exactly. It's looking great. Let's improve relations with these guys. Oh, I literally can't because there's too much improved relation with them. Come on. Exceptional year tax modifier. Yes. I have not done much of the mission tree scary cactus. I really need to catch up. Like, I need a bunch of buildings. I need five more buildings in the Alicia area. You know what? Let's just go straight into the building area. I still can't afford this. Well, I need money. This is the problem. I need cash. I'm actually tempted to take a loan and build a few. Alright, there we go. Annex the vassal. They only take one year. Let's do it. Oh, so good. A borough loan's available. We could take a borough loan. Actually, I haven't seen it. Is it a thing that exists? Project effects. No, I can only do Monopoly on textiles, so that's pretty useless. I also, I guess it's because I don't actually have burrows. <laughs> I actually have a different type of thing. Oh, I repaid that loan. I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> that was stupid. No, there's not there. Oh, indebted. It's right there. Duh. There it is. Trade efficiency minus five to take five five year loans at zero point eight percent interest. Bridge removed automatically when repaid. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm so stupid. Thank you, buddy. Heck yeah. That's a much better idea. Okay. So I just need to have five buildings in Alicia. Five more buildings. That's just from Evos to here. Okay. Is this Elysia? It is. So that's one. A lot of churches. It's. Uh, we should probably get. State maintenance of the autonomy change and province governing costs. We should do courthouse. Yes, because this has a modifier. Barracks and workshops, yes, but also we do have the European Exclave, which increases state maintenance. Oh, it's state maintenance. And a minimum local autonomy. Of the autonomy. No, that doesn't really change it. Province governing cost is going to be pretty high, though. I think Evos is going to be pretty power, pretty potentially difficult, though. Let's do the workshop. And let's get a courthouse. And over here, a production. And over here, a barracks. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Are you hitting your government cap? 
Uh, no, I'm not. I am not hitting my government cap. But I will later, so, you know. Yeah. Important. We have a little bit of rebellion risk. That's gonna be such a big frickin' deal. Oh, I can't even begin to imagine how much that's gonna affect me. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna try and save this. That is going up really nicely. Oh, yes. A request to share your maps from Hudnesca. Absolutely not. What is wrong with you? Why on earth would I do that? And now we're going to try and get claims on these guys. And I have only to wait till 1530 for that. Great. So I can attack them in just a couple of years. Take these and then I'll annex this vassal as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Yes, okay. Why is Eastern Orthodoxy the wrong religion? It's the wrong religion. The correct religion is my religion. Yes. The glorious, gloriousness of me. <laughs> Whatever the hell I am. And this will also call in the Wenro, but I don't care about them. Okay, we're good then. They're tech 7, but that's alright. Good. Awesome, let's go. Oh, the loans are getting to pay back. This is so nice. Aslan Reformation. The lands of our Spartan cousins, religious moves have called Atlan, King Leonidas. Oh my god, land of Hellas. They're now worshipping their own religion? That's so freaking cool. <gasps> it's got a near center of reformation. What? It's opened up a new center of reformation? This mod is actually fantastic. What? That's so cool. What the heck? Oh, I love that so badly. Alright, we just now we need to attack PK. I think we should uh think about doing this. Hey, why have you not been why have you not received the colonists? There you go. Oh my god. That's so freaking awesome. More troops. More troops. Alright. Here we go. City Senator leaves furious. One of the debates is very heated when a disgruntled senator accused the Emperor of a lack of involvement in affairs. Let him go. Bring him. Bribe him to remain quiet. Yeah. I'm rich. I don't care. And here it is. Infrastructural projects. So fantastic. I'm going to take a look at this mission in the next episode. Do be sure to leave a like and a comment in the video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. In the next episode, we're going to finish the mission of infrastructure projects and then begin the invasion of Pequi so we can colonize up east. Bye-bye.